our eyes for the most part work a lot like a camera, but when it comes to the finest detail that you can actually see, I think there's a lot of image processing that happens in the brain to enhance what your uh, lens and retina can resolve to make it actually look like you're seeing more than you're seeing. And I've got a couple of demonstrations on a computer to illustrate that. Take this piece of text for example. Easy to read, right? Let's cut the resolution so it's under 3 pixels per letter on average. It's just an illegible mess now, but if you back away from the computer far enough, it becomes legible. You can pause the video right here to try it, or I'll just gradually make the text smaller, and you can pause it when it's the right size. I think if you see a blurry mess small enough or from far away enough, your brain's ability to make sense of fuzzy images kicks in, and that restores it close to what it should have looked like. Also, unlike a camera, your ability to read really small text also depends on how much space there is around the letters. Double-spaced text is more legible than single-spaced, and spaced-out letters are more legible than normal letters. So I programmed this animated eye chart that varies the spacing to illustrate this concept. I find that crowded versus spaced out makes almost two rows of difference on this chart, and moving two rows up or down on this chart is times 1.6 in terms of size. So you can check this for yourself by just walking away from the computer for a bit, and see how far down you can read when it's all crowded, and then watch the chart grow, and see how much further down you can read with uh, bigger spacing, and then uh, keep your eye on that line and watch it turn into a blur as it gets crowded again. So this chart to the scale on this is actually a logmar chart, uh, which has all even ratios between the lines, not like your standard Snellant chart. Uh, so moving up one line at a time would be 1.26 times in size, and a letter height of 5.5 millimeters at 6.1 meters away would correspond roughly to 2020 vision. And if you're curious, I did that animation in the web browser by programming a bunch of JavaScript. Uh, that's always useful for animations, uh, but uh, pretty much every experiment video I do involves some amount of programming.